Helm Restaurant for the launch of Jazz and Creole. I am your host, Kewana Fontin Wilson. As always, my pleasure. It's always um, an honor to be in this position here. Um, and to date, this evening, it's an exciting time for us while we launch the 13th edition of Jazz and Creole 2024. The date is set for that. I would like to acknowledge you know, our presence, the Honorable Shakira Lockhart Hippolyte, Minister of Tourism, acting. We would like to also acknowledge Honorable Julian Defoe, Her Worship, Kerry Brady Prince, Mayor of Portsmouth. She's on her way to the event. Also, Her Worship, Ermin Royer, Mayor of Roseau. Government officials, Father Eustace Thomas. Board members of Discover Dominica Authority, members of the Dominica Festivals Committee, staff of DDA and DFC, sponsors and potential sponsors, members of the media, invited guests, viewers and listeners, launch partners, INDAT Initiative, the Realm, NCCU and GBA Enterprises. Welcome once again to this wonderful occasion Again, my name is Kewana Fontin Wilson. We are getting ready for an exciting event tonight, and we have so much in store for you. Uh, we are ready to embark on this journey of jazz and Creole. And of course, we will be hearing all of the artists who will grace the stage on that wonderful day in Portsmouth, the home of jazz and Creole. At this time, I would like to invite you to stand and invite DJ Snow to play the national anthem of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Snow, and of course the beautiful voice of Mikael Henderson. Please remain standing, ladies and gentlemen, while I now invite Monsignor Eustace Thomas to invite the Lord in our midst this evening. Thanks for inviting me to share this joyful event and that I would like to ask you to excuse me because there is a function in church which I have to attend, and I thought I should come and make a little prayer with and for you. So after the prayer, I shall leave with your permission. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let's pray in the words Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have blessed our fragile yet resilient nation with talented people who by acknowledging the gifts from you are proud to showcase the gifts you have bestowed upon us and bring joy to your people here and further field, especially in the realm of music. Finding ourselves at the realm, we are elated to establish divine atmosphere here and we beg of you to discard all evil spirits from this place of leisure, clean entertainment, and healthy nourishment, so that whatever occurs here will be for your better glory, the edification of patrons, and the good name of our country. And so, Lord, it is good to be here to launch the 13th edition of Jazz and Creole, which we present to you for your blessing, protection, and success. In these troubled times during which we fear that there will be an active hurricane season, we nonetheless believe that we need activities to distract our minds and cater to our social, mental, and spiritual sanity. In all humility, therefore, and hope, we pray that we make of this festival a gentle one with a difference, one which will be properly controlled by the organizers, who will in turn allow themselves to be so directed by divine order. We congratulate all those who will be participating in this festival, and we offer all patrons and those tuned to the various means of social communications to the Most High to impart his blessings on all of us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And now I shall depart. Thank you, Monsignor Eustace Thomas. You will depart from this podium, but not from the event, right? Father Thomas? You will depart from the podium, not from the event. Oh, oh from the event. Well, I'm sorry about that, but we're happy that you could grace us with your presence and your prayer to bless this event tonight. All right, so um, once again, welcome everybody. We have prayed and we, we have invited the good Lord in our midst. I can see everybody beautifully dressed and culturally infused in what they're wearing. Well, not everybody, but most, you know, <laughs> most of us, the outfits are already culturally infused. The theme for this year's Jazz and Creole is, uh, um, uh, what's it again? Uh, I'm almost forgetting. Creole fusion, that's right. So I'm hoping that... I have some sort of Creole and some sort of, you know, some outfit which looks like what the theme should be like. But I think I am properly dressed um, for the event. <laughs> I know our minister is uh, beautiful. Welcome again to the launch of Jazz and Creole Festival. And uh, we are here to um, let the whole world know what the event will be like. And we are happy that we are getting set for the reveal as well. So behind me, there's this large screen. You will see and hear all of the artists who will grace the stage for this year's Jazz and Creole. At this time, I would like to welcome to the podium for remarks, Miss Brianna Loda. Is Brianna Loda here? She is um, the assistant manager of The Realm for remarks. Brianna Loda. Oh, that's you. All right, so make her feel welcome. Brianna Loda, Assistant Manager of The Realm. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Fellow Dominicans, I stand before you today with a heart brimming with pride and excitement as I introduce to you a movement that encapsulates the very essence of our cultural heritage and national pride. It's my honor to announce the concept of Mwe Asa, which translates to I in that, a movement that beckons every Dominican 
to embrace and celebrate our rich Creole traditions. But before I share more about this initiative, I would like to extend an invitation. On May 2nd, the Realm will host its Jazz Fringe event. Join us and support this exciting event, for it is one that every Dominican citizen should be proud to be a part of. Now, let me paint a picture of what Mwe Asa represents. Imagine a monthly celebration where our streets are adorned with the vibrant colors and intricate designs of Creole fashion. Picture yourself, your friends, family, and colleagues actively participating in these festivities, showcasing our heritage through the clothes we wear. But Mwe Asa is not just about donning beautiful attire. It's about fostering a community that celebrates and supports all things Creole, our food, music, language, and culture. Through this movement, we aim to create platforms and events that elevate our designers, seamstresses, tailors, musicians, artists, entrepreneurs, and the wider community. We envision new businesses sprouting, new talents emerging, and our, tradi our tradition sorry, evolving with creativity and innovation. Moe Asa aims to make Creole fashion a symbol of national pride, not just on a special occasions, but every day. It's about weaving our cultural heritage into the fabric of our daily lives, both here and abroad. Moe Asa strives to make Dominica Creole Fashion Fridays a historic event, a testament to our collective identity and pride. So, mark your calendars for Creole Friday will be a monthly affair a celebration of who we are as people. But how can you actively participate? The possibilities are endless. Encourage your employees, students, clients, and friends to join in the festivities. Incorporate Creole fashion into your personal and business calendars. Create organizational initiatives and contests. Support promotional events and social media campaigns. The choice is yours but the collective impact will be profound. In conclusion, Moe Asa is more than just a movement. Every last Friday of each month, we unite in sol solidarity to honor our heritage by donning Creole attire and putting the spotlight on the rich legacy of the Creole culture. It is a visible declaration of our pride, our culture, and our identity as Dominicans. So, let us come together let us celebrate and let us probably show that I in that. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Brianna. And uh, I must say on the, the second jour à moi May, dimanche, our days there, a cabrits, moi en ça, moi n'y espoir ou en ça. I would like to just welcome in Creole our listeners here and uh, on the various uh, social media platforms. Bienvenue à la troisième édition pour Festival Jazz and Creole, Evec Creole. At this time, I would like to call on the podium, Mr. Dion Henderson. Yes, Dion S.C. Uh, Oswella? Dion Henderson, representing Jazz and Cocktails. And normally, it's held at the Alliance Française every year. All right, so I take that as a no. We move on with the program and call on Earl White for remarks, representing jazz and cocktails. Make him feel welcome, Mr. Earl White. Hailing from Ville Guantas, Portsmouth. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Bonsoir, bonsoir. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, protocol has already been established. Um, as you heard, my name is Earl White, and I am one of the business partners uh, representing the karaoke lounge. Um, we are based in Picard, Portsmouth, and this is our second annual jazz and karaoke. Jazz and karaoke. Um, it's one of the only fringe events where the patrons are invited on the, on the small stage to come along and to, to, to make it their own. You know, it's karaoke. You come on the stage and you do what you have to do. You know, so we are providing that Avenue at the Karaoke Lounge in Portsmouth on the 1st of May. That's a Wednesday night, 1st of May. And um, 
it's going to be a blast. Um, we have a nice jazzy menu, nice jazzy vibes, and um, everything will just fall in proportion. Also on that night, we have a few guest performers, um, such as Miss Ulysses. Um, also, we have performers like the winners of our annual karaoke competition. Um, there are three of them, and they're going to be performing on that night as well. Um, and a new and upcoming band in Portsmouth, the EMK, will be performing as well. And we are still in, nego in negotiations with a few more national um, artists to be on the lineup. So it's going to be a real good time, and we are very excited about it and very excited to be partnering with the whole jazz and Creole community. Thank you. Ça vous permet de créer là de ça, Monsieur Earl White, un petit créole, une autre fois, no problem. So we are still um, receiving remarks from. Okay, I see a very, you know, yes, a little wave at the back there. So thank you, Mr. Earl White, representing jazz and the karaoke in Portsmouth. So you know what to do on that date. We now call on Mr. Dion Henderson. Representing jazz and cocktails. Dion, Monsieur Henderson, bienvenue, s'il vous plaît. He's a Frenchman, a Creole man. Let's welcome him. Welcome him. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Bonsoir, bonsoir. I will not have to invite you to come and take some French lessons. No. No. All right. Good evening, everyone. Yes, kind of quiet tonight, huh? Good evening, everyone. Here we go. Okay, well, I'm here to um, speak to you all about our event that I've been having in partnership with um, Discover, Fest, um, Discover Dominica Festival Committee. Um, it's called Jazz and Cocktail. And what we, the idea we had initially was to honor, pay tribute to uh, an artist, a musical um, person as part of our musical, um, I would say that, our, our landscape. And um, this year is our third year. And as we usually say, um, we should sometimes give flowers to those who are there with us. Um, this year we decided to honor someone I think that we all love and uh, um, bring it down to someone younger this time. The first time was um, Nelly Star. We did the first, the very first um, edition of, of Jazz and Cocktail. Last year we decided to honor Ophelia, our lady of song. And this year we thought it would be fitting to honor the person by the name of Mikael Henderson. Yes, so um, the idea, as you all know, is that we really pay tribute to the artist by having a certain amount of um, our artists, local artists, perform their songs, be it um, something that was you know, special to them or they just really liked and you like to perform it, or they're usually performing that song also. So this year, yeah, we'll be honoring, giving a, a special tribute to Mikael. And um, people usually say when the team is winning, we don't usually, you, you know, you don't change the winning team. So we decided again to also kind of put in the front of look or local female artists um, on this show again, and people keep telling us that the singers we had the year before were great. They should come back. They came back last year with an addition of some other artists, a few others, and they said, "Yeah, I think you guys should leave them, you know, and just let them do their thing." So um, we decided finally that we would do that, bring in our roster of um, female performers and of course as we did last year we added some fresh ones some fresh that we, that were not there the past two years so um to to pay tribute to, to honor Mikel 
We'll have um, Marie Pascal. You'll we'll also have Dargel, Shanice, who did some very good songs this year again. Um, Tasha P, of course. Dargel, Abia, who's a, a regular, I'll say. And we have a few new faces this year. One of them is a, a great, um, for me, in my, in my opinion, a, a great singer, a vocalist there. Her name is Lily Octave. And the octave there really means octave. Huh? She can go up and she can go down. So yes, I mentioned Shanice as a new face. And we have someone that we were hoping to get her on last year, but was, unfortunately she was unavailable. But this, this year she, she decided to join us. And uh, this one is no other than the queen, or queen C, Carlin XP. So all these artists will be performing songs from the repertoire of Mikael Anderson. And she will be there also to perform some songs. Um, I think they're going to be something new, but I'm n I don't want to confirm it myself. I don't want to put myself in trouble. But um, yes, so that will be the Friday night. And it is only $60 to attend. We'll be able to, um, I'm not sure from when, but very soon we'll be um, um, announcing the tickets on sale. So we'll be able to purchase them at Alliance Forces for sure and other um, sale points um, that will be announced. And we hope that you, um, you come in or come out uh, in large numbers as you've already done, done for the past two years. So um, we hoping as usual is gonna be a great night. Oh, by the way, there's a free cocktail. Huh? That's why the cocktail is there. And at the entrance, you have a free cocktail, and you have a wonderful night with the ladies singing some great songs. Okay, so I really hope to see you all here. Those listening, those viewing us, please don't hesitate. Come across to the Alliance Francaise Friday evening, and um, only $60 with a free cocktail uh, upon entry. So... Um, and we, all, we will be in the spirit of jazz and Creole running up to the Sunday. So don't hesitate. Just come right across. Okay. Thank you very much. Merci, Dion. Thank you. Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much. And imagine uh, jazz and Creole over the years. Well, when it started, uh, the event has grown from a main stage with no fringe events to a main stage with all of those fringe events that you're hearing about and so many more I'm, I'm thinking that is being conceptualized and developed as we go along. I would like to now call on our next um, fringe event representative and that is Mr. Ashton Mason. Is Mr. Ashton Mason here? Mr. Ashton Mason, okay. Um, I would like to also call on Dr. Bertilia Bartley. Okay, she's representing Breakfast Village. Give it up for her, Dr. Bertilia Bartley. Yes, bonsoir. Good evening, everybody. As um, she said, my name is Dr. Bertilia Bartley Peter. Don't forget the man's name. Um, representing the Northern Entertainment Committee, I am the president. And this year we are very excited to host a new jazz fringe event on the calendar, which is the Breakfast Village. Now, we got a lot of complaints last year that there was no food available in Portsmouth at the beginning and then after. So this year we are trying to be prepared for the patrons that are coming to the north. So the Breakfast Village will be held on May 5th and May 6th at the Indian River facility. It will be held from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on both days. We are free to stay until 12, until you go up the hill, if you please. As long as food is available, we are here for you. So in keeping with the North, we have 10 local food vendors from Portsmouth. 
we have KNN treats, the hot plate, just for you, catering, Rasta bread, Din Din's bar, Kimmy's breakfast, Kerry's delights, Island treats, Dequay spot, Freeze's spotlight, and NEC, the Northern Entertainment Committee, will be in charge of the Waters booth. So these vendors are in charge of all local delights. Your black pudding, your sauce, your fig and cut fish. When you come there, you might even see some pepper water on the side. Fresh for you. We have all that available. So we're starting the hashtag bring your bowl campaign. You come, don't worry about anything. Get your breakfast, then go get your makeup touched up. Then come back, put something on the side for lunch, and we'll be ready to go up the hill and get everything that the FC has for us at the fort, okay? Now, NEC will also be hosting the coffee and tea bar. So we are welcoming all the local manufacturers to get in touch with us. We can be found on Facebook at Northern Entertainment Committee. You can email us at 767.nec at gmail. We would like to promote our local manufacturers. So all the tea makers, coffee, cocoa, get in touch with us because this is an opportunity for product sales as well. So we will be using your products for the bar and we can also set up a nice little booth with the local products so people can come if they like that specific tea. You can buy, I don't know, a five pack or 10 pack, organize it, put a nice little jazzy label and let us, let's make something happen for that weekend. So we also have a cocoa van will be parked there. You can choose to take it from the shell, drink it from a bottle, all that is available. We have two juice and the yogurt, local juice and yogurt. Um, vendors, sorry, True Juice and N&N and N products, all from the north. We also have an agreement with Cobra Tours and Rainbow Tours. There will be a discount for anyone who wants to go up the river at that time, have your breakfast on the river, you can do whatever you want. We plan on organizing a nice little quaint atmosphere that you can come, chill, eat, might meet somebody you want to check later on the hill, all that can be done at the breakfast village. All right, so we hope to see you there. Oh, sorry, oh, one thing I forgot. We invited Posse Culture Pan. It's a new group with young people. They are learning and practicing steel pan. So they will be there as well. We have a photo booth. And we hope we can just create an atmosphere where the patrons can come down and enjoy themselves as a step up for the jazz. So we'll be here on May 5th at the Indian River from 6 to 10. And we'll also be there on May 6th from 6 to 10. So whoever is staying at Portsmouth for the entire weekend, don't worry. We have you covered for food. Okay? Thank you very much. I have one thing to say to the, to the vendors on the hill from my personal experience. As they say, water is essential to life. But coconut water is essential to the whiskey drinkers. So um, please ensure that you all have a proper... Okay? Organize that for us, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dr. Bertilia, let me get that right, Bartley Peter. Let's not forget the man's name. Um, so wonderful stuff from the host city, Portsmouth. And I know where the minister will be on, on May 5th. Because when you mentioned Pepe Wochi will be on this side, she said, oh, mm-hmm. So I know <laughs> that's one customer who will be there for sure. Thank you so much uh, for your remarks. We have another, um, someone else will provide remarks here. Miss Melisha Davis. Okay, she's coming up. Come on down. Thank you. Mega Phil, welcome. Representing Carib Hype. Another partner for this year and French event. Good evening, everyone. Carib Bear is elated to present its 11th annual Carib Hype in the town of Portsmouth. This year, we have strategically rebranded the event to a daytime fete to complement and add a fringe event to Jazz and Creole. The feedback received for making this bold move is nothing short of amazing. We believe that the addition of Carib Hype to the weekend's activities will aid in increasing the number of people who will spend the weekend in Portsmouth. The main objective of this year's event is to bring some much needed excitement to our consumers in the north of the island. 
Our Carib Hype 2024 is scheduled for May 4th from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Wichert property in Picard. We recently launched a complete lineup, which includes headline artist Mikael Teja, the reigning roadmatch king of Trinidad, and our very own signal band. Our local DJ cast includes DJ Flash, Unstoppable DJs, and two of Portsmouth's finest, King Spawn and Selector Urban. Out of the neighboring island of Martinique, we have DJ Payu and Dan Evans. And from Trinidad, we have Lord Hype featuring Lerbs. To our most valuable patrons, patrons here is your Carib Hype checklist. Like and follow our Facebook page for updates on the event. Prepare a signal band and make Altasia playlist. Book accommodation for the weekend. Get your denim and white outfits ready. Purchase your tickets from April 8th. In closing, I'd like to thank and highlight the confirmed sponsors for Carib Hype 2024. King Ocean Services, Johnny Walker, Siroc Vodka, Smyrna Vodka, El Dorado Rum, Crimery Novelties, Maggie, and L'Express Dezil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so much information, so much um, you know, inviting and uh, exciting events from the North. Speaking of the North, I would like to acknowledge Her Worship, Mrs. Kerry Brady Prince. Good evening to you, the mayor of Portsmouth, the home of jazz and Creole. And I, at this time, I would like to invite another fringe event representative. She's representing the Convent Preparatory School. Her name is Tanika Albert, and she's coming here to speak to us about jazz and tea. Mm -hmm. Make her feel welcome. <laughs> Miss Albert representing the Convent Preparatory School. Honorable Shekiro Lockhart Hippolyte, Minister for of Tourism, Her Worship Kerry Brady Prince, Mayor of Portsmouth, Her Worship Ermin Roy, Mayor of Roseau, Government Officials, Father Eustace Thomas, good evening. I stand proudly before you this evening as President of the PTA Executive of the Convent Preparatory School to extend a warm invitation to an event that promises to tantalize your taste buds, soothe your soul with soulful melodies, and create unforgettable memories for you and your children. Get ready to experience the perfect blend of jazz and tea at our upcoming extravaganza. Imagine yourself surrounded by cozy ambience of a serene afternoon, sipping on your favorite cup of tea while being serenaded by smooth songs of live jazz music. This is not just any ordinary event. This is an experience crafted with love and attention to detail to ensure that every moment is nothing short of magical. But that's not all. Prepare to embark on a culinary journey like no other. Our events boast a delicable array of gourmet delights that will tantalize your taste buds and leave you craving more. From savory bites to sweet treats, we have something to satisfy every palate for adults and children alike. And as the evening unfolds, be prepared to be mesmerized by our lineup of amazing artists. A selection of incredible talented musicians will take the stage to enchant you with their captivating performances. From smooth jazz melodies to toe-tapping rhythms, our artists will transport you to a world of pure musical bliss. Now, let's talk about the tickets. For just $25, children can join in on the phone and indulge in delicious offerings. And for adults, tickets are priced at $40. If you haven't gotten a chance to purchase your ticket, don't worry. You can pay at the gates for the same price. So, mark your calendars, gather your friends and family, and join us for a jazz and tea experience where you will create memories together. Thank you. We look forward to welcoming you to an event that will leave you refreshed, inspired, and thoroughly entertained. The event is carried for May 3rd, 2024 at 4 p.m. at the Convent Preparatory School Ground.
Thank you so much, uh, Tanika Albert, representing Jazz and Tea from the Convent Preparatory School, so you know what to do when that day comes around. Jazz and Creole, 13th edition, we have been growing. You know, Discover Dominica Authority presented Jazz and Creole to expand Dominica's festival tourism product. Um, the event has grown from just 600 patrons, imagine that, in 2010. Now, we have seen a growth to 2,600 patrons in 2016. So we have been growing. We have seen Grammy award-winning artists gracing the stage, such as Angeli Kijo and Malo Rosado, and other great regional and international performers and as well. So this year, hmm, the reveal will show you, and I'm sure you will be happy about that. Before the reveal, we will take you down uh, memory lane. Were you at Jazz and Creole last year? Everybody here went to Jazz and Creole last year? Great. So you know what you experienced, and uh, this year promises to be even more excited. Exciting, excuse me. Okay, GJ, you just know. I now call on a VIP partner. His name is Mr. Montel James. He is the marketing assistant for HHV Witchich and Company Limited. Let's make him feel welcome, Mr. James, for remarks. A VIP partner for this year's Jazz and Creole. Bonsoir, monsieur. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to all of you. It is with great pleasure and excitement that I stand here before you tonight, representing HHV Research and Co Limited, as we celebrate the grand launching of one of the most anticipated events of the year, Jazz and Creole. Over the years, Jazz and Creole have solidified its place as a cornerstone event in Dominica, captivating audiences and leaving lasting impressions over the past years. As we gather here tonight, we reflect on the journey of this remarkable event, which has only grown in success and significance. At WeChurch, we are honored to once again take the responsibility of hosting the ultimate VIP experience for the second consecutive year. It is a privilege to be part of an event that brings together vibrant culture of jazz and Creole, creating unforgettable moments for those who attend. So as we embark on this journey together, let us revel in the magic of jazz and Creole, celebrating the richness of our heritage and the power of music, and let the power of music unite us all. On behalf of HHB Richard and Co Limited, I thank you for having me tonight, and here's to an extraordinary event ahead, and to the ultimate VIP experience powered by HHB Richard and Co Limited. I thank you. Merci, thank you so much, Mr. Montel James, representing uh, HHV Richard and Company Limited. He's the marketing assistant, VIP partner for this year's Jazz and Creole. It gives me great pleasure to welcome our new destination marketing manager, a very Dominican. She hails from the community of Corriho. She's been away for some time based in Anguilla for some time, but it's been a month now. She's with us. She's back home. Let's welcome Miss Andia Ravaria. Make her feel welcome. Our new uh, destination marketing manager. Bonsoir. Do you speak Creole at all? Andia? Vous parlez en Creole? Andia? Oui, oui, en Creole. Okay, so now I know. Thank you. <laughs> Protocol established. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so delighted to be here tonight. Launching the 13th edition of Dominica's Jazz and Creole. I'm so excited. As stated, I am Andira Ravalre, hailing from Coliho, the land of Banmove. I have recently taken up the role of Destination Marketing Manager at the Discover Dominica Authority. I am thrilled, really thrilled to be back home after years of working in the travel and hospitality sector in Anguilla. I want to take this opportunity to stress 
how important our festivals and events are to the marketing and positioning of our island as a destination and also to our economy. Festivals are utilized as platforms to showcase a destination's local traditions, the cultural landscapes, and the intangible cultural heritage. In the travel and tourism industry, festivals are viewed as rich experiences which can be curated into destination offerings. In turn, festivals can be solely responsible for heightening a destination's awareness and visibility. Take, for example, our coveted World Creole Music Festival. The exposure and visibility that Dominica as a destination secures through this festival is unmeasurable. Exposure from our major local acts and from our regional and international performances. World Creole Music Festival is deemed as Instagram worthy. It creates a venue to position Dominica as much, much needed to visit and must experience destination. Additionally, festivals present ripe opportunities for boosting economic activity and can become economic drivers. This we are witness to when we look at Carnival and again World Creole Music Festival. Our festivals afford everyone a chance to tap into the tourism dollar. From our beloved roadside vendors, to those of us who rent our homes to provide additional room, to our many diverse um, eateries and award-winning properties, our festivals are major pool factors to our beautiful island. Now, our jazz and Creole, it's a unique experience. It's us imprinting our Dominican twist on jazz. It's an infusion of our proud Creole culture and heritage, and it has evolved into an expression of our style and fashion. As Dominicans, we must own our own and be the marketing mouthpiece of this dynamic festival. In 2022, Jazz and Creole received 1,100 patrons. In 2023, over 2,000, 2,600 patrons to be exact, 136% increase. Additionally, we have recorded 46% increase of arrivals the week before Jazz and Creole. I can say Jazz and Creole is now a fixture in our domestic market and has the potential to be positioned as a unique and captivating cultural offering, targeting every demographic, regionally and internationally. So, let's head to Postmelt. Stay the weekend and join us as ja at Jazz and Creole on Sunday, May 5th. Enjoy the festivities. This year, I'm certain Postmelt will help us create some memorable, amazing memories. For more information, where you can stay, the great packages that the properties in Postmouth are offering, and for everything happening in Posse over that weekend, visit Dominica Festival's website, or you could call or WhatsApp 767-275-7298 and 767-275-7293. I'm with you guys, excited and can't wait for that weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy Ravare. Yes, nous content, nous excité quand Evan nous passe au SP pour Guanju Sala en Guantans, Messieurs, Mesdames. So we are heading back to the home of jazz and Creole, and we'd like to welcome Miss. Her Worship, Mrs. Carrie Breedy Prince, the Mayor of Portsmouth. Give it up for her. Make her feel welcome. Bonsoir, Madame Prince. Vous avez parlé Creole, non? Un petit peu, un petit peu. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Protocol is already established. 
Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, fellow enthusiasts of jazz and Creole, welcome one and all to the official launching of Jazz and Creole 2024. As mayor of the town of Portsmouth, it is with immense pleasure I extend a warm invitation to each and every one of you to join us for the annual Jazz and Creole Festival in the most scenic and pristine location of Portsmouth, the Cabritz National Park on May 5th, 2024. Tonight, as we gather to officially launch the main highlight, Jazz and Creole, we embark on a journey of sonic delight and cultural exploration from the soulful rhythms of jazz to the lively bits of Creole music to the unique creativity of dress. Our festival promises an unforgettable experience for all who attend. Portsmouth has always been a town of diversity, a melting pot of cultures, and so we welcome the infusion of jazz with its soul stirring melodies and spontaneous spirit, where it finds a perfect counterpart in the colorful rhythms and flavors of Creole music and dress and food at the Jazz and Creole. It's a fusion that speaks to the very essence of our community, a harmonious blend of traditions and influences that makes Portsmouth truly unique. So whether you're a seasoned jazz enthusiast or simply looking to immerse yourself in the infectious energy of Creole melodies, I urge you to come. Come and be part of this celebration. Let us revel in the magic of music, dance on the grounds of Fort Shirley, and bask in the majestic and magnificent scenery at Fort Shirley as we create cherished memories together. We want to thank the government of Dominica the Ministry of Tourism, Discover Dominica, and other key stakeholders and sponsors for once again investing in, in this invaluable event. This has been a major economic generator in our town, and we extend our sincere gratitude to you. This year, many stakeholders have joined hands, likewise, in ensuring that we offer our patrons some exciting fringe events leading up to the main day of May 5th, 2024, and a little after. Maybe you've heard just a little bit, but I want to give you my tip of the iceberg. Portsmouth will come alive from the Wednesday, which is the first, with jazz and karaoke at the lunch in Picard. Right after, we head to reggae night at Roots Bar, Roots Reggae Bar in Tatan. Thursday, the Portsmouth Town Council will awaken the streets of Portsmouth with pan and jazz, where the Portsmouth culture pan, also pan in harmony, and key performers from Portsmouth and surrounding areas will grace the stage with some sweet, melodious, and harmonious voices and music, and some other acts are still loading. Delicious delicacies and drinks will be available for sale as well. On Friday, the Borough Square Lime will come, and Saturday, we welcome the Cari Bear Hype event in Picard, Jazz in Paradise at Paradise Valley in Bonn, and Purple Turtle Family Fun Day, quite a variety of options. And of course, our Breakfast Village will come alive on Sunday morning from 6 a.m. before heading to the main event of Jazz and Creole. You don't need to worry after the festivities where you are going to get breakfast. Again, on Monday morning, the, jazz, the breakfast village again will be up from 6 a.m. to provide you with some delicious delicacies. The Bell Hall Beach Sports will be waiting to continue the hype Sunday night after the curtains of jazz and Creole come down. And of course, Tukery on Monday with the Seafood Live. So, I'm sure you will get some more in-depth information from them as the time unfolds. But I'm so excited, I just wanted to share with you just a bit of what's happening in Portsmouth around the jazz and Creole time. And if you're looking for services, from lodging to car rental, saloons, spas, makeup, dining, anything, we've got you. Check out the Facebook pages of the Portsmouth Town Council. Portsmouth Town Council 
1954 or what's happening in Posse, among others. A lot of information will be available there as the weeks unfold. So by the sound of my voice, you can tell that I am excited. And by now, I expect that you too are excited. So once again, on behalf of the entire town of Portsmouth, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you for joining us here tonight and a hearty welcome in advance to, the Ports to Portsmouth for Jazz and Creole 2024. Not just for the day, but for the week. Your presence enriches our community and makes this festival truly special. So I was hoping we would have our glass to raise our glass to Jazz and Creole tonight. But once again, thank you and we look forward to a very fruitful and exciting Jazz and Creole in Portsmouth. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Breedy Prince, Mayor of Roseau, and thank you for opening the doors of uh, Portsmouth for Jazz and Creole once again. So you said you were at Jazz and Creole last year, 2023. And for those of you who were not there, we have, we're now presenting a recap video of last year's Jazz and Creole Festival. So feast your eyes on the screen, in, well, at the back of me, in front of you, on stage for a recap video of last year's Jazz and Creole. <laughs> Lovely, lovely recap video of uh, Jazz and Creole 2023. Exciting stuff, and I can only imagine what this year will bring. And speaking of this year and the festival and all of that, um, it's now 10 past 7. We have a limited general admission tickets on sale. So it started on sale from 7 o'clock, and it's going to be sold until stocks last. So... Take advantage of the special sale on tickets. It's only $150. So you can purchase from 7 o'clock uh, here at the Realm or online at $150. Special tickets available uh, on general admission. So take advantage of that. And if you're going to wait until you 
get to the festival in Portsmouth at the gate, it's $200. VIP tickets, $325. Great. At this time, I would like to invite the Minister Acting of Tourism, Mrs. Shakira Lockhart Hippolyte for her dress. Make her feel welcome, thank you. She's so beautifully dressed in her Creole top. If it wasn't too big, I would ask you to, you know, if I could um, borrow that top, Minister. Here on, I'm sure you can close in. Yes. <laughs> Let me recognize Honorable Julian Defo, who is here with us today, my good friend and colleague. Also, we have um, Austell Lockett, Senator. Um, Colin Piper, the CEO of Discover Dominic Authority and the staff of, the, of DDA, our new destination marketing manager, the mayor of Roseau and also the mayor of Portsmouth and the mayor of Roseau is with us there this evening. Welcome to a celebration where the pulsating rhythms of jazz blend seamlessly with the vibrant essence of our Creole culture. Since its inception in 2010, the Dominica Jazz and Creole Festival has been a symphony of cultural harmony, showcasing our island's rich heritage. Held at the scenic venue of Fort Shirley, this festival transcends being simply a musical event. It is a cultural rendezvous, inviting one and all to experience our music, our cuisine, and our fashion amplified over a week of festivity and community engagement. Prepare to be immersed in the scenic grandeur of Fort Shirley for our main stage surrounded by a constellation of fringe events across diverse venues. This year's festivities commences on Sunday, April 28th and culminates on Monday, May 6, 2024 with the main stage event on Sunday, May 5th. Each event offers a rich palette of experiences that embody our theme, Rhythms of the Nature Isle. As we delve into the heart of our event details, I would like to highlight the theme for this year's fashion component at the Jazz and Creole Festival, Creole Fusion. This theme is a celebration an invitation to blend the rich traditions of Creole culture and the iconic Madras fabric with a festive flair and a modern twist. This artistic call to action encourages each patron to creatively merge the old with the new, crafting assembles that pay homage to our heritage while echoing the pulse of contemporary style. As we gear up for this highly anticipated event, let us visualize a week where every day offers a new discovery, highlighting the best of Dominican culture, presented through our music, art, fashion, and flavors. This culmination of festivities intend to allow all patrons to indulge in the authentic essence of Dominica in every component. Furthermore, our goal for tourism is to allow the festival to serve as a lighthouse, attracting visitors from across the globe to our shores. Contributing significantly to our vision of welcoming 500,000 stayover visitors by 2030. It's a cultural magnet drawing in guests from the French West Indies, the USA, and beyond, creating a stream of global connections. This surge in visitors, evident from last year's increased arrivals, underscores the festival's pivotal role in amplifying our tourism landscape. Nonetheless, the festival is a testament to our cultural renaissance in our approaches to tourism. We see culture as an integral component of our economy and the social fabric of our communities. It is a catalyst for development, intertwining the threads of tradition and modernity and reinforcing our island's reputation as a destination where there is a symphony
between culture and nature, driving forward our tourism sector with authenticity and innovation. Our approach broadens the horizon of cultural tourism, embracing not only our historical heritage, but also the vibrant pulse of our contemporary life. In the Nature Island, we aspire to allow visitors to actively engage with our communities, heritage, partaking in experiences that are educational, creative, and entertaining, ultimately fostering a sustainable ecosystem that thrives on mutual respect and shared value. Integrating local communities, especially around Portsmouth, into the festival's fabric allows us to showcase the multifaceted charm of Dominica. This creates a symbiotic relationship where community members not only share their heritage, but also gain from the festival's economic ripple effect, enriching both the visitor experience and the local livelihoods. Our curated experiences developed in collaboration with local stakeholders, offer a gateway to the soul of Dominica. Patrons are able to experience wonders of the north, such as the Indian River, Cabrits, Tukari Bay, Kana Heritage Park, Col Soufrie, Boineuf Falls, Opak, Paradise Valley, and so much more from horseback riding along hidden trails to exploring the serene waters of our rivers and waterfalls. These packages invite our guests to embrace the island's natural beauty and the warm hospitality of our communities. Moreover, we stand on the shoulders of giants, our sponsors, partners, community members, and the dedicated team at the Discover Dominica Authority. Their collective passion, vision, and hard work fuse to create an event that is more than just a festival. It is a testament of our island's cultural vibrancy and hospitality. Finally, I wish to highlight the I In That initiative this movement is a call to each of us, urging us to drape ourselves in the pride of our Creole heritage, not just today, but every day. As we immerse ourselves in the symphony of jazz and Creole, let us all embrace the spirit of I in that, making Creole fusion not only the theme of our attire, but the signature of our lifestyle. This initiative invites us, our businesses, our families, and our communities to be the living embodiments of our culture, proudly integrating the Madras fabric. Our Creole traditions with a festive flair and a contemporary twist into our daily lives. It is about turning every moment into an opportunity to showcase our natural pride to make every day a celebration of our Dominican identity. So as we step forward from today's launch, let this festival be more than a memory. Let it be the spark that it ignites a year-round celebration of our heritage. On this note, I extend a heartfelt invitation to all, immerse yourself in the rhythm, the beauty, and the warmth of Dominica. Let the Jazz and Creole Festival be your gateway to a world where music fills the air, culture touches the soul, and the beauty of our island captures your heart. With a commitment to excellence and a spirit of joyous celebration, we promise an event that transcends the ordinary. Expect a festival that not only entertains, but also inspires, creating memories that linger long after the last note fades. Join us 
and be part of a legacy that celebrates the very essence of Dominica's Creole culture. Thank you. Thank you, Acting Minister of Tourism, Mrs. Shakira Lokad Hippolit, for this wonderful remark here. And um, again, we would like to remind you that you can purchase your special jazz tickets to the left of the stage, right here at the Realm. It's $150. And also online at dominicafestivals.com, these tickets are not going to be um, available all the time. It's from 7 o'clock. It's way past 7 o'clock. So hurry, get your tickets to the left of the stage or online on dominicafestivals.com. Great. So the moment that you've been waiting for, the moment that has been highly anticipated, the grand reveal of Jazz and Creole Festival 2024, Keep your cameras locked on the screen and your eyes as well as we now present a video presentation of Jazz and Creole from May 5th, 2024 at Portsmouth, the Grand Reveal. Welcome to Portsmouth, your host city while in Dominica for Jazz and Creole 2024. Look out for a number of fringe events that form part of the Jazz and Creole calendar of events starting as early as April 28th. Now, let's turn our attention to the artists performing on the main stage of Jazz and Creole on Sunday, May 5th, beginning at 2 p.m. at Fort Shirley in the Capritz National Park. A rising talent with her fusion of soul and elegance, quickly being recognized as the Caribbean Neo Soul Queen, captivating audiences with her performances, Miss Lily Octave. Hailing from Reunion Island, by the way of Paris and the USA, now known as the Violin Queen, we present Mappy. Prepare to be enchanted by the princess of song herself. From the nature island, Dominica, a gifted singer, songwriter, and a masterful flutist, whose melodious song and powerful voice continue to grace stages around the world, leaving the audiences in awe. Mikkel Henderson. And I sing home to this tune and I'm raising song, this gym to which I belong, this land is my home. The Caribbean's longest serving dance band, led by two dynamic singers, effortlessly delivering the classics of yesteryear with the sounds of the modern era, the Swinging Stars Band. Weaving Jamaican dancehall and reggae rhythms, together with elements of RB and hip hop. The singer-songwriter, with her sweet voice and poignant lyrics, resonates deeply with listeners. Alain. on May 5th, 2024, as we jazz up Creole with our theme, Creole Fusion. See you in Portsmouth, the home of jazz and Creole. Oh my goodness. This lineup is nothing short of the theme for this year. It is spectacular, the essence of Creole Fusion. 
And did you enjoy that? Are you looking forward to May 5th? Yes? No? Oh, yes. Okay. Great. All right. So as we, as we get closer to the end of our program, I would like to now call to the podium Mr. Ogeli Moses. He is the Festivals and Events Assistant at the Dominica Festivals Committee. Let's make him feel welcome, Mr. Moses. A pleasant good evening. Protocol has already been established. As we draw this remarkable event to a close, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you. Your commitment and underwaving support to Jazz and Creole will truly make this event a resounding success. Your dedication and loyalty have been truly inspiring and it is through our collective efforts that we have been able to launch this outstanding event. Thank you to the government of Dominica for this tremendous support over the years, making Jazz and Creole a reality. I am confident that the connections that we have forged and the lessons we have learned will continue to guide us on our path to success. Once again, thank you to the government of Dominica, Jazz and Creole Fringe Partners, sponsors and potential sponsors for your dedication and passion towards Jazz and Creole. It's an honor and a privilege to be a part of this incredible journey with you all. Don't forget, May 5th, 2024, Fort Shirley, Cabritz National Park. Miss it and blame yourself. Thank you. Thank you for your closing remarks, Ogeli, but I am suspecting that you are getting ready for the entertainment. You're, it was very short. <laughs> yes, we have entertainment from Shalina and, uh, of course, our house DJ, DJ Snow. So that's it for us um, from the realm. We would like to say thank you to everybody who came in today, who um, contributed to making this launch a success. We would like to say thank you to the sponsors, the partners, supporters. Let's continue to patronize the realm as we, as we remain here to, to be entertained by Shalina and, of course, DJ Snow. Get a drink, get something to eat, have a good time. Yes, Ogali. What's that? A glass of wine. Yes, thank you, Ogali. Get, have a glass of wine All right here. We have Shalina coming in as well. And enjoy. It's Friday. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Happy weekend. Thank you for so, for so much for being here to our viewers, audience online. Thank you so much on our various platforms. And for all those who came in today, tonight. Thank you so much. My name is Kewana Fontaine Wilson. Thank you for being here. Good night. Welcome to Portsmouth, your host city while in Dominica for Jazz and Creole 2024. Look out for a number of fringe events that form part of the Jazz and Creole calendar of events starting as early as April 28th. Now, let's turn our attention to the artists performing on the main stage of Jazz and Creole on Sunday, May 5th, beginning at 2 p.m. at Fort Shirley in the Capritz National Park. A rising talent with her fusion of soul and elegance, quickly being recognized as the Caribbean Neo Soul Queen, captivating audiences with her performances, Miss Lily Octave. Hailing from Reunion Island, by the way of Paris and the USA, now known as the Violin Queen, we present Mappy. Mappy. 